Question nine. Figure four shows a sketch of a Ferris wheel. The height above the ground, h meters of a passenger on the Ferris wheel, t seconds after the wheel starts turning, is modeled by the equation h is equal to the modulus of a sine bt plus alpha. And this is in degrees, where a, b and alpha are constants. Figure five shows a sketch of the graph h against t for one revolution of the wheel. Given that the maximum height of a passenger above the ground is 50 meters, the passenger is one meter above the ground when the wheel starts turning, and the wheel takes 720 seconds to complete one revolution, find a complete equation for the model, giving the exact value of A, the exact value of B, and the value of alpha to three significant figures. Now, the first thing I like to do in a question involving a trig equation such as this is to have a sketch of sine available. So in order to find our constants a, b and alpha, I'm going to use the hints that the question has given me. So first, let's look at this maximum height of a passenger above ground. Now, I know from my sine curve sketch that sine only takes values between 1 and minus 1, which means at the greatest height, this sine value will be equal to 1 and it will be being multiplied by a. So looking at the equation I'm given, this a must be the highest point of the wheel. This means a is equal to 50 because 50 is the maximum height. The next point I'm given is that the passenger is one meter above the ground when the wheel starts turning. This means h is equal to one when t is equal to zero. So let's put this into our equation. If we've got that h is one when t is equal to zero, this gives us that one is equal to 50 sine alpha. Of course, t is zero, so the b doesn't matter in this case. b times zero is zero. I can rearrange this, dividing through by 50, and just putting my sine alpha on the left. My sine alpha is equal to 1 50th. So alpha is going to be equal to the inverse sine of 1 50th. And that gives me a value of 1.145 and so on, which is 1.15 degrees to the three significant figures that were asked for in the question. Now let's look at the last point. The wheel takes 720 seconds to complete one revolution. Looking up back to our figure five, we're told that figure five shows a sketch of our graph H against T for one revolution of the wheel. So this curve is our H is equal to our modulus sign BT plus alpha. And we know the T value after one revolution to be 720 seconds. If we look at this against our sine of x curve, we know that the sine curve takes this shape in the first 180 degrees. The reason we're just looking at the first C shape on our sine curve is because we are looking at the modulus. So if we imagine the modulus of our sine curve, so that's all the positive values, instead of being the complete S shape, this would be a, a series of C shapes when only the positive values are considered. And so one revolution of our wheel from the bottom all the way to the top and then back round down to the ground, we're looking at the first 180 degrees. And so this is a stretch in the X axis of a scale factor four. When we represent a stretch in the X axis of scale factor four, just reminding you have your graph transformations. If you have f of a of x, that is a stretch of scale factor one over a in the x-axis. Since our scale factor is four, therefore our b value is equal to one quarter. Putting in our a, our alpha, and our b, we have h is equal to 50 sine quarter t plus 1.15. Explain why an equation of the form h equals the modulus of a sine bt plus alpha plus d 
where d is a positive constant would be a more appropriate model. Well, if we look back, h is modeling the height above ground of a passenger. Currently, our h can take a value of zero, and we don't really expect a passenger to be touching the floor. So this d seems an appropriate value to have. And so we can say we don't expect a passenger to be touching the ground.